so uh, like I said, the objective is you know to uh, uh, attack the opponent always. So what's uh, the first thing that tempts people because they see the arm, they want to hit the arms, and that's what Isaac was doing. He was concentrating in, in a lot of uh, martial arts trained that way, where somebody attacks and you diverting the arms. Okay, so uh, that's not efficient. Because all you're doing is you, you're fighting weapon with weapon. So if you can imagine, it's like Hollywood way of fighting uh, uh, sword fighting, where they're actually you know, hitting sword. But the reality is the person's trying to strike you in the real fight. They're trying to strike and you're stopping the sword from you know, hitting you. So it's to make the uh, movie, uh, you know, I guess, spectacular and, and not get themselves hurt, they just hit each other's swords. And that's a way, uh, actually uh, a way of... Uh, uh, Making things look good. Many demonstrations do that. A master would actually demonstrate a stick with a student, but actually they're hitting the stick to make it look very, very fast. They're not really you know, trying to hit the person. So similarly, you know, all the same, a lot of people are hitting the arm. You can see the direction of his hand is going this way. So he's hitting the arm. And the other thing, of course, again, it's like the... Um, you carry the concept of the boxing as well, of dodging, you know, dodging and trying to punch this way. And Wing Chun is not that way, okay? In Chinese martial art, the body structure is very important. So you've got yourself a strong frame in your body, okay? And you're trying to move someone, okay? Not run away from someone. So, for example, if he, uh, Isaac, let me, so, so, so he punches me, say, so this is what kind of the thing he was doing. So if you're able to do that, punch again, you might as well do this. Why, why, did, why bother with a hand? Or more, more efficiently, you just hit him. But the problem with that again, so say, say now uh, I punch you and I want you to kind of uh, dodge to the side. Okay? Okay. So I'm going here. Okay? So a good martial arts is to follow. Follow his hand. Understand? Don't give him the opportunity to, to, to do this side thing. Okay, so consequently, so if he punches, what I wanted to keep my body straight and I turn his body. I have turned him, I put him in this vulnerable position now. Rather than me putting myself in a vulnerable position. Okay, okay? so these are things that, you know, it's very important uh, to understand. So here, I'm going to repeat the form that, um, that um, Isaac did. So, um, Patrick, can you hold that again? By the way, Patrick is a practitioner, practitioner of Kung Fu for four years in another school. Okay, and uh, he's always loved Wing Chun. That's why he made his own dummy and tried to learn Wing Chun on his own. So, Isaac, Isaac, did I say Patrick? Yes. Okay. Patrick's also a martial artist from another, uh, like a karate style. Okay, so the first thing I do, okay, is very important. You learn entry. That's one of the most difficult part of fighting the entry, to be able to move in without getting hit. So what we do, we create ourselves a, a, a protective uh, gates. So this part area looks, covers any attack that comes to my head when I approach forward. And this will kind of prepare for me the lower, there's also a second line of difference, just a slightly lower. Okay, and I need to move in without getting hit. So, and, and the safest bet is to wedge yourself. Okay, so again, so if, if you came here, so I don't know whether he's going to kick me, hit me with this hand, that hand, that leg, or that. I don't know when I move in. So the first thing I do is to just go straight here so that any attack will be wedged, will, any kind of wedging. And of course, I must go and attack his leg right away. So say if I came here and he threw a punch, first thing I do is here. I cover all this, this area here now. I don't allow him, and I tilt his balance so that he can't do anything. That's a very important part of a move, okay? And uh, very simple, in a sense. So, like with every uh, skill or thing, things that you, you take up, the first lesson is always the first, most important, first and the last. So in music, you learn the scale, you know, the first, uh, you know, the notes. You gotta know that before you can build up on it. In the end, you learn the, you know, the most sophisticated part of music, perhaps, you know, in, when you learn about music, in music theory. So the first moves are always very important. 
so not to be ignored. And even though, like uh, I'm going to show you later on the the cilium tile form, and the first move looks very very simple and totally harmless, but it's very you know very important and it's deadly. So the same thing here. So if you again hold the dummy again, okay. So the first thing I do. So this is the arms that are possible that'll come at me. So actually, in reality, of course, the guy's not going to hit you this way, okay. So they're going to hit you straight, but it's what you're, it's training your body to do the wedge here, see? This wedge here. So from here, I would go straight in and attack, and I could be even as far as this. And I have to, tr tr to train myself to be able to take one step and be right there. So from here, so through here, okay? So right here, I've tilted the guy, okay? This is the bone, wing hand, and then it's so always three limbs at the same time. This leg is going to jam that leg, hit him there. Body, okay, so I'm going this way, not this way. I'm going towards the dummy, towards the dummy, okay, okay, hitting, okay, the other side. That's the first section of the uh, dummy move. Then the paxo. I'm not going this way. Not the hand. It's my body, and my hands are always protecting the center. So the body is the one that's doing the moving. Yeah. Always two, covering one, down. Yeah. Coordination. Down, up. Yeah. Section two, section three. Yeah. Always kicking the low, low area. We don't kick high here in Wing Chun. Okay? We're getting hot here. <laughs> okay. Okay. Three section. Four. Three limbs again. So right now I see the dummy is moving, I'm uh, adjusting myself. Okay. Now one of the things I want to uh, point out, well I'm not going to give the whole uh, dummy lessons now, but just point out something here. I'm moving around this dummy. Okay. As you see I went like this. Right. It's because the uh, dummy was designed to be fixed. So if you stood here, so the same thing. Say, say you uh, came here and you did one of the dummy moves, okay? So you came here and, and sidestep, go ahead, sidestep like you did in the dummy. Okay. Like one of the moves, okay? So again, okay. So. Okay, same thing here, you see? Once he steps to the side, I will take advantage of his mobility. Basically, there's always a trade-off between mobility and stability. When you have more mobility, it's less stability. More stability, less mobility, okay? So, in reality, I don't want to do this. For example, the dummy looks like this. If this was a dummy, oh, sorry. hey, <laughs> and, he, and he punched me, right? So here, so I would go, the dummy come this to the side here. But as I said, all you have to do is go this way direct at me. Okay. okay, so that's not the point. So this is the point. It's really the dummy part because uh, it's fixed. That's why I'm walking around. In reality, I don't want to walk around. I'm here. That's how I would do it. Okay. I'm turning you, not, not me turn around the dummy. So the point is not to run around the opponent, but break his structure. What is structure, okay? Structure means like this building, it's squared. So, so is this body. If this building, one of the posts was tilted, say like this, like here, right? Even just this is here. Here. If it was just this, this much, the structure is broken. It's weakened. Right? So uh, uh, an example I use is like if you had a cardboard box which weighs only 250 grams maybe, 
250 kiloguy can sit on it without collapsing the box, empty box. Because it's at right angle, everything's squared. Okay, it's going along with the uh, gravity. So because it's squared, it, all the lines, all the corners support itself. Okay, but once you take the cardboard box and crack one line, okay, one, once that uh, line is broken, now you sit on it, it's going to crumble. So similarly, in, in, in uh, Chinese martial arts, the body structure is very important. So we move around like this, okay, instead of this kind of stuff. Because this is basically weak structure. Okay, so let me use uh, another person. 